So were you able to guess which direction I went? Right, center, or left? Well, if you chose the left, you're absolutely correct. ta -da! Give yourself a pat on the back. And uh, I just managed to get up this little wee bump of a hill. I don't have my snowshoes on right now, but uh, take a poke, take a lick here. You can see where my foot is, and the depth of the snow isn't really all that much, but yet I see people have been traipsing through here on snowshoes. <clears throat> anyway, I probably will put mine on in a little bit, because I got to admit, at this mild temperature, which is around zero degrees Celsius, um, the snow's kind of uh, kind of slick, kind of oily beneath my feet as it's in its transition between snow and water. So I'm finding myself slipping a little bit more than I'd like to. Anyway, I'm up to a bit of a rest stop here and I'll strap these buggers on and I'll be able to float on the snow. So here's what my snowshoes look like. They're made by MSR, I think stands for Mountain Safety Research, I believe. And uh, they're more of a plastic kind of bottom and nice binders though. They, they, really, uh, they really go on quite easily. And uh, the little cramp on, whatever you call them, the little, little toothy gets here. Um, this thing pivots so it's very natural like walking and then it's got these little sidebar things here that uh, if you have any side hill stuff that you got to go on you don't slip sideways. Yeah, they're pretty nice. I've had them geez, for 12, 13 years now and when I go out in the boot in the snowy stuff you know I'll put those buggers on and yeah, they make a lot of noise but uh, at least I can get the heck where I want to go. Okay, and I'm going to carry on just as soon as I strap these on. Make more of a mosey here in Christmas land. Well, there you go. There's not a whole whack of snow here, like I say. Not yet. It will get deeper further on. But this gives you an idea. Ta-da! What these things look like. Now we're heading down a pretty doggone steep little spot here. And I have no fear that I shall turn into a human, what do you call them, big snowball things, boulder from falling down on my AW. Because the crampon parts, uh, maybe I spoke too soon, the crampon parts really, uh, really keep you held on to this thing. I think I'm going to put this camera away before I lose it. Yeah, I'm going to have a pipe. Believe it or not, I am going to go to a spot where I'm going to have myself a little smoke. But, I got to get there first, yes. These little kiosk things are kind of all over the place. Actually, they have about four of them. With the map, and you remember when I started out on that other walk, and I was over on that map and showing you where I was going and all that sort of stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, <clears throat> not going to worry about that today, but uh, uh, I just came from this way. Yes! Oddly enough, they had snow on that trail. And look at this here. Can you believe this? They've got snow on that trail. That would take me back in a bit of a loop back to where I came from. On this way here, that would take me around up to the left and then uh, get me more towards the, uh, the meat of the nature park. Because there's a lot more of this place than just, just where I've been so far. And there is this itty bitty little trail here. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. And you know, I must say I am a bit of a glutton for the uh, hills. I like to go up the hills when I'm fresh and down the hills when I'm not so fresh. That's an old adage. Uh, I can't remember who it was that taught me that a long time ago, but that was one of the things. Yeah, tackle it when you've got plenty of plenty of uh, juice and on the way back, you know, take a break and take it easy going downhill. Sort of makes sense, eh? Anyway, onward, up the hill. Well, as you can see by the trail there, other snowshoeing enthusiasts have been oot in a boot. Yeah, this little trail here that I'm on now is called Romantic Ridge. How nice, eh? Anyway, it's really quite lovely. 
uh, very, uh, very snow laden tree and Christmas guardy ish. Eh? And I'll tell you, if you're dreaming of a white Christmas, you'd have one here in Southeast BC. And I understand uh, buddies on the East Coast, man, wow, they're getting a real dumping right now. Places are shut down, people are dying. You know, uh, yeah, just terrible. Ma Nature Boy, when she decides to uh, unleash her fury, she can really do a heck of a job. Right now she's, uh, she's kind of doing the normal thing around here, for which I am most grateful. Anyway, we carry up this ridge, which right at the moment is not very romantic, as it's taking me uphill. But, uh, yeah, we're doing it. I hope you're enjoying this scenery. Very nice to <laughs> sit around in a nice warm spot and maybe enjoy something refreshingly warm and uh, yeah, something to drink too. Ha! Anyway. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> the maniacal Michael was playing out in the snow, in his snowshoes. And he traipsed around. He, here I go again, the third person. I don't know what the heck's going on there, but I played around for about, oh, maybe two hours out there uh, on a nice loop that I made. And only had to backtrack about three times because I took off on the wrong trail, thinking I was close to wherever it was I wanted to be that I was, than I actually was. But, uh, hey, that's, that's just part of the fun, you know? So I'm still uh, looking at Jeeves and Wooster vids. Uh, I think I'm on disc number two out of about eight or ten of the things that are in there. And um, <clears throat> I was starting to, well, I finished that book, The Scarecrow. I liked it. Yeah, Michael Connolly. That was pretty good. I picked up another one. Turned out I'd already read John Sanford's uh, Wicked Prey. And uh, if you've never seen the Sanford series of books that he has out there, uh, Jack Archer, I think, is the guy. This is his protagonist. I might be wrong on that one. Anyway, uh, yeah, Sanford's pretty good as far as uh, writing the whodunits and the cat and mouse and the, you know, getting the bad guys kind of thing. Uh, the music that you're hearing in the video today is uh, courtesy to, of one of our YouTube pipe smoking buddies, uh, the Piping Papist, John, uh, from the United States, Indiana. Uh, he has authorized me to use some of the music from his uh, group's website. And I thank you very much, John, for doing that. Yeah, you've got a number up there on uh, the Christmas Eve number, so I figured I would use that one to uh, supplement the, the wonderfulness of this, uh, this upload. So thank you very much, John, for uh, the authorization. And hopefully the folks at YouTube uh, won't have to contact you to make sure that that was actually indeed uh, true then the, the maniacal Michael wasn't lying. So thanks, John. Yeah, appreciate it. So, like I say, boys and girls, uh, last time, I uh, was wishing you all a, a safe and, uh, you know, happy holiday season, and, uh, you know, let's ring in the new year. I'll, I'll come on back and, and play some more on YouTube and uh, share our, our, our delight in this uh, tobacco world that uh, we seem to be the remnants of, you know. Anyway, Guys, play safe.